And hello there. Welcome back to more Honkai Story. Recently, there's been a comment left on one of my videos as I did not explain correctly what should be done. The comment is, do you have any priority list what to farm more? And the answer is uh, rather complex. As if we uh, were to look at the trailblazing levels. Level 60 is an equilibrium, level 50 is an equilibrium, level 40 is an equilibrium, level 30 is also an equilibrium, level 20 is also an equilibrium, and level 10 is not an equilibrium. So up to Advent, your Trailblazer level 20, you have basically free range of what you want to do to level up your characters now this is my main account because everything is a higher level here but basically if you are under trailblazer level 20 because of the event that is currently going on the garden of plenty you will want to focus the calyx the golden calyx here whether it be the bud of memories or the bud of aether should you have them unlocked at this point now i say that to level 20 because you want your characters to be leveled up you cannot get the ascension materials because you are not a high enough trailblazer level your light tones you also want to level up so that they are a higher level in order to get extra power like such as this one damage reduced by 18 percent or this one healing is increased by 18 and 12 percent the the what, what you want to do for level 20 to level 30 is pick your first four main characters and you would want to grind out the ascension material as well as the trace material so for the first 20 levels just character experience because you don't need any ascension material for the next 10 levels up to level 30 would be the ascension materials then level 40 to 50 again just stick with with your character materials here these you would want to focus on to level up your characters and ascend them however you're not getting doubles for the character ascension material so i'd say do two of these that, that's 60 of your trailblaze powder that leaves you the 120 left for the double reward. The double rewards are for your Crimson and your Golden Calyxes. So, with regards to your Crimson Calyxes, farming them early is good. However, farming them later is a lot better. Because you get the higher level Ascension materials. So, these... these Ascension materials come in, what, three stages? Yeah, so, the lower account, the lower your account level is, the lower tier you would be able to farm. So, when you get to account level, I'd say about 50 plus, you could even do it at 40, then you start farming for the Crimson Calyx related items. But for the account levels that are below, let's say, 40, you would focus on the Bud of Memories and the Bud of Aether. But do remember that you can come here to Pom Pom and collect the rewards. Now, you will get a bunch of the character experience as most of the level rewards. So, it is... If you're actually grinding out quite a lot, then it's much more beneficial to farm out the Crimson, the Crimson Calyxes. 
However, gold, well, your credits, can also be running low a lot of the time, so it might actually be worth farming that if you haven't completed basically the entire storyline. As on my main account currently, I only have the companion missions left to do. But yes, so when you want to level up your accounts, focus on getting your like, golden galaxies done. Because character experience, like, trust me, it takes a lot. It takes a ridiculous amount. I don't have any characters that... Oh, wait, now there you go. Here you go. What do I add? It, just for these three levels, between 67 to 70, is taking 65 of the medium quality and 32 of the lower quality, just to level them up. So trust me, you'd want a ridiculous amount of these XP books. So yes, for the low level accounts, what you want is the golden galaxies. For the higher level accounts, you want the Crimson Galaxies. And for just everyone, if the if it is available to you, the Stagnant Shadows, just come and clear these for whatever characters you're planning to use. I This is my team, these first four, and those are the four that I focused first. My next team was definitely going to have Yukong in it, and March 7th, because she does shielding shenanigans. Probably gonna have Tinian as well, and then probably Servo as DPS, because she does splash damage. But yes, those are the next four that I would be focusing. So again, what I would probably end up doing is grinding out the essential materials twice a day, and then just XP books, because that's currently what I actually need. Because I have a lot of the light cone upgrades. Ah, no, your max percent. Can't look at yours. Yours. See, I need some of the, these materials here. Let's just uh, synthesize some of these real quick. There we go. We can ascend that. Then just auto add. There you go. 200 of the big one. Six mediums. 200 of the small ones. Can easy, easy just level these up. So, yes, that is my plan, because the main reason why I recommend having eight available units... Do you want to is, enter the Forgotten Hall? Yes, I want to, but I don't actually want to participate. But why I say you need eight is because of this. When you get to stage 11 of the Memory Hall, Forgotten Hall, whatever this thing is called, you need two separate teams. So, the free-to-play units would be very good for a singular team. However, Sina, which, as you guys have seen, I have on both accounts, she could get, just go anywhere and trade for the stage 11. I don't know what happens in the next few stages, because I haven't unlocked it. But at least eight characters need to be leveled up to clear from stage 11 onwards. But yes, that shall be it, if I have not made myself clear. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment sections below, and I shall make videos based on what you guys ask for and what you guys need, as that's what I would like to do. I'd like to help in any way possible. But that is my opinion on what your account level should be compared to what you are grinding out. And that shall be it. I shall see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.